This video is going to be about the second pouch that's in my EDC box, it's in my hallway cupboard. This one is my fancier looking um, tools, um, kind of like an Instagram EDC, I hate saying that but it looks a bit more fancier. This one is tools as well but it's a lot more comprehensive and the kind of thing I take if I go, um, if I go out in the motorhome or if I'm going on a longer like trip away. So I'll just take this one out and put that away to the side. So it's the same um, pouch as the, the first one I showed you except this is a single layer and it has the same wrist strap. This broke um, and I wasn't able to fix it so I just put a zip tie to keep that together and I've got a little um, keychain to identify it. This has a few systems in here. I haven't decided which one I'm going to stick with, um, but I'll show you all three that are squashed in here at the moment. The first one is actually, I think it's an ammo patch. It's got six elasticated loops. There's two of them. So there's one with six, and then there's this one with three larger ones. It's Velcro on the back. Um, they were from AliExpress. They cut, these are in the wolf grey colour and that's the brand. Um, I haven't been able to find any pouches that I love. I love the outside of these but the actual inside organisation so I've been experimenting with things. So yeah this is the first thing I tried which was from AliExpress. Second, I tried, well, the original, I tried my own version of a Gridit organiser. I made it on some really flimsy, I can't remember if it's plastic or card, um, and also the white elastic gets grubby really easily, but I will insert a picture of how that looked, but that's something I'm leaning against. Um, that's my least favourite option. And then the third, I need to get some bands for this. But this is from Earthling EDC, the YouTube channel, and Phil has designed this, it's fantastic. You put bands in and then you can slide your um, your items in. This, I didn't print it too well on my 3D printer, but yeah, he has the pattern or the, the file that you can use to print your own. So um, this is something that I'd really like to try because it fits in really well into this case. In these little pockets I've just got a microfiber, like a little grey microfiber cloth. I'm not going to show you the front of this but this is a little dog tag and it's got my name and phone number on and then that was just the little chain that that came with. So these are the two patches, velcro patches. First Thing I have on here is a crocodile brand pen which looks like a Fisher Space pen it's around the same sort of size and let me just use it like that I did actually replace the refill with a Fisher Space pen refill I've got a black medium in there and it fits perfectly it came with a little case um, but because I use it in here, I don't use the case for it. This is my Leatherman style. And I still have the clasp on from before so I can attach it to things easily. I have a Clipper brand lighter. This is a really inexpensive it's like a Stanley knife um, you can change the blade out and I'm not precious about it because it's so affordable but I, I really love this it came in a two pack it had a larger one which I've got a few in different places and this was the smaller one in the pack this is my whistle and it's from a company who've been making whistles I I don't, I'm embarrassed to say, I don't know 
for how long, but for a long time, made in England and it's very close to my birth city. So there's a lot of history um, with this brand. And then the last one is a little container with replacement blades for this knife or blade. In this one I've got a spare space here. I've got an inexpensive torch that I bought from Timo. And I think it takes double A, triple A batteries. Yeah, so it just takes triple A. I've got a rechargeable one in there. And it has a clip. And it's just got like a little rubberized button to turn it on. And then the last thing, this was um, an idea I got from Factors of Jack, his YouTube channel, which was fantastic. This is a vintage tape measure. And I like the fact that it does have centimeters and inches, but what he does is cover them with um, ranger bands or like bicycle inner tubes. I can't remember the brand of this. One of them was Barlow. Let me take this off. But it means it's really easy to handle. Oh, it's Zippo. So this is a Zippo, um, a vintage Zippo tape measure. And I do have a Barlow one in a different kit. But um, it just makes it easy, nice and easy to grip and I'm not worried about ruining it. So that's everything in that kit.